Today is Monday night now. Um, Sunday night we just had leftovers, so I didn't film that day. Um, Monday night we're having Frito pie. I've never had Frito pie before, but it kind of just looks like chili with taco seasoning in it, and then you put it over some corn chips. So we'll try this out, see how it is. But that is what is for dinner this Monday night. Today is Tuesday night and we're having our early Easter Mommy, dinner. Ham. You like Dad, the ham? ham? Oh, my son likes the ham. <laughs> we're having some the ham, ham, some carrots and uh, corn mixed together. They were just some random bags of vegetables that we had in the freezer. And then I made some broccoli casserole, which is kind of one of those things that we make for special occasions. It's not super healthy. It's got uh, cream of mushroom soup in it, and cheddar cheese, and all that good stuff in it, but we make it for special occasions. So we're having that tonight. Um, so we'll enjoy this as an early Easter meal. Tonight is Wednesday night. It's a great Wednesday. My lighting's a little bad. Um, we are having a new recipe to us. It's a vinegar, chicken and vinegar it's called. It's a French dish. Uh, it was from one of my magazines. I think it's from Bon Appetit's current magazine. Uh, so it says to serve it over mashed potatoes. So that's what I made. It's got some tarragon in it, chicken, tomatoes, a little red wine vinegar, chicken broth, some garlic, uh, garlic and shallots. Um, and cook that up and put it over mashed potatoes. And we're just having that with a side of steamed Brussels sprouts. So we'll see how this is. And that's what we're having for dinner this Wednesday night. I thought it would be fun just to see the sort of a cost breakdown, I guess, for the meal that we had tonight. Um, so this is for that chicken and vinegar new meal that we made to try out. Uh, these are just some of them estimates, like salt, pepper, that kind of thing. I kind of estimated, but some of these I know. Sorry, I have a big boo boo on my hand. Um, the chicken was $2.15. I got that from the discount store and that was for 1.29 pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So it was a super good price for that. The tomatoes were uh, 81 cents a piece. They're about equal in size. I had bought two of them and reserved one for this recipe. So I just divided that in half. The butter is about $2.58 for an entire 16 ounce box of unsalted butter. So I broke that down to the amount we used, which is two tablespoons, and it was 16 cents for that. Uh, the canola oil container of the one that I get from Walmart is $1.38. So broken down into tablespoons was three cents. Um, let's see. And then the tomato paste we used the tube stuff which is a little bit more expensive um, but i'll use it again for something else so that was 21 cents for the serving we use red wine vinegar 27 cents for the serving the broth i made using kitchen scraps and a rotisserie chicken the bones from that so i just count that as free because i don't know how i would figure the cost of that it was going to go to the garbage anyway so i'm going to count that as free the shallot, I put the full amount here because I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the remaining shallots for anything. Maybe I'll come up with some of it, something else to make with it. But I just figured in the whole cost of all three shallots that came in the bag, uh, even though I only used one large one, uh, just cause I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that for anything else. Um, the honey, that's what it is, 21 cents for the honey serving. The garlic, about 23 cents. The flour is about five cents for the serving. And the spices, I kind of estimate, I didn't use the parsley that they were asked, um, not asked, the parsley that you're supposed to add to it. Um, but I did use salt, pepper, and some tarragon. So I just estimated the amount for the spices as 20 cents. It could be more, it could be less, um, but probably pretty close to that. So the chicken serves four. So the total for that was $5.80, and I divided that up by four, so $1.45 per serving, which is pretty great. And then the mashed potatoes I make, the bag of potatoes uh, was actually, it was free because uh, I got it from Walmart. This is the great thing about Walmart pickup. If you have an issue with one of your items in your Walmart grocery order, 
you can request a refund. So I showed it in my last haul video, but the potato bag that I got was uh, an organic potato bag, which are super expensive, $4.46 for the bag of red organic potatoes. And I'd say over half of them had eyes and were actually growing shoots on them. Um, so I requested a refund for that and got that. So the potatoes that I had left, I made into mashed potatoes. So those I'm just counting as free because they were refunded. The salt, pepper, I don't really know the cost of that. The sour cream was a dollar and a penny for a large container from Aldi. Um, and I kind of broke it down to what I guesstimated that I used to about 13 cents. And then we've been just using some dry milk packets that we have uh, in our food storage that we needed to use up. So I haven't been buying fresh milk, um, but I just mix up those and those are about 99 cents a packet. There's three in each um, container or each box. And then I broke it down to the serving. So around about what I would have used. So it's about six cents for a serving of that. So I just estimated that it was about 25 cents for the mashed potatoes, a full pot of them, and six cents per serving. And then the microwave bag of Brussels sprouts was a dollar. So divided by four, 25 cents. So all in all, the total for the entire meal was about $7.05. And the cost per plate, if you divide it all by four, was $1.76 per person. So really great deal. Making food at home is definitely worth your while, uh, not only for nutrition, but for cost effectiveness. Um, it's just time. Sometimes you need a little extra time to make food. So definitely nice to see that it is as cheap as it is because going out to eat is not cheap. Um, so yeah, that's our cost breakdown. I hope you enjoyed seeing that. And we'll see you the next time. Tonight's Thursday night and we are having a crab stuffed flounder with some mac and cheese. It's the Annie's mac and cheese that already has the pre-mixed cheese in it. And then some steamed green beans. The flounder just has some, I used canned lump crab meat. And then you just mix it with a little bit of uh, mayo and some egg white, mustard, some green pepper. Um, Worcestershire, however you say it, and um, mustard, did I already say that? And then I just sprinkled some paprika on top. So this is what we're having for dinner this Thursday night. Today is Friday and we're just having something simple, some rotini pasta with some pork sausage, pork Italian sausage, and um, sauce. Yeah. Garlic bread, steamed broccoli, just something easy. I'll probably end this week's okay. What's for Dinner video today because with the holiday, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing and I probably won't film anything. We'll be with family. Uh, so that's what we have for this Friday night and we will see you next week for our next What's for Dinner video.